Hey man, who is Pig? Pig, Pig, Pig. He, he he's a a guy. He passed. Rest in peace, Pig. Mm -hmm. And um, a guy knew him. I met him in jail. He was down hard. You know what I'm saying? Him and his fall partners. And um, he orchestrated they they freedom. You know, like. There a few of them was buckling or whatever, whatever, but he was telling them, like, bro, we're going to be all right. We're going to beat this. We're going to make it out. And I, I got y'all. And he did that. He stood on that. He, mm -hmm. he, they, they figured it out. They beat the murder charge. They got back out. He got himself back together. He got back home. You know what I'm saying? I saw him a few times. And, uh, and his brother, Lou, Lazeric, shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I just, you know, I don't know if I was in jail when he got killed, but or what? But I just heard he got killed. He was a cool little dude, though. Mm -hmm. You know, this short dude. You know. So what, you consider <clears throat> consider him like a bad religion like that? I consider him a bottom legend. Okay. Because like you you to be a bad rich legend, you gotta conquer Baton Rouge. Some form of fashion. Yeah. You can't just be in one hood and be no legend. Nah. Baton Rouge is too serious for that. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know, you know, I just, like I say, bro, I know a lot of dudes from the South that's some South Side legends. But I can't put them up there with legend legends. Nah. I would say Le Ivy is a legend mm -hmm. because yeah. of, he, he didn't discriminate on where or what he did or who he helped. And he was steady helping. He was steady helping. He was growing. Like, he didn't care where you from. When he threw his Easter bash, he didn't care where you from. You know, everybody was welcome. You know, he was helping people all over Baton Rouge. He was well-known all over Baton Rouge. You know, same way with Lee Lucas. You know, he was well-known all over Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, Lee Lucas is the guy who introduced me to people like Clarence Robinson and, you know, dudes like that. He had me in the vicinity of those dudes, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, these dudes deserve, you know, documentaries and DVDs, but everybody don't, bro. Yeah. Like, you know. So, shout out to Pig, you heard me? Uh, rest in peace, you heard me? But, uh, unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs>